In Japan, a school lunch is more than just a meal. It's a passport to a cultural journey. The Japanese school lunch program, known as Kyushoku, offers far more than simply nutrition to its young students. Each tray of food weaves a tale of Japan's rich heritage, a story told through the medium of rice, fish, vegetables, and more. Kyushoku is a daily lesson in what it means to be Japanese, serving as a reflection of the country's traditions and values, wrapped up in a delicious edible package. Each dish is carefully selected, not just for its nutritional value, but for its cultural significance, teaching children about their heritage one bite at a time. It's about understanding the local produce, appreciating seasonal ingredients, and recognizing the regional culinary specialties that define Japan's diverse culinary landscape. Kyushoku, therefore, isn't merely about filling young bellies, it's about filling young minds with cultural awareness. In Japan, the changing seasons are not just seen in nature, but also on the lunch trays of school children. Kyushoku, the Japanese school lunch, is a beautiful representation of Japan's deeply rooted respect for the changing seasons. This respect is not just limited to appreciating the beauty of cherry blossoms in spring or the fiery leaves in autumn. It extends to their food, especially in the school cafeterias. Imagine a tray, a canvas, if you will, painted with the colors of the season. In spring, the lunch trays are vibrant with sakura mochi, a sweet treat made from rice, pink from the cherry blossoms, and filled with red bean paste. It's not just a dessert, it's a bite-sized celebration of the blossoming spring. As the weather warms up and summer arrives, the trays turn refreshing. Cold noodles, or samen, make their appearance, served with a chilled dipping sauce, providing a cool respite from the summer heat. Fresh, locally sourced vegetables add a splash of color and nutrition. Autumn, a season of harvest, brings with it an array of hearty meals. The trays are filled with dishes like sanma, a grilled Pacific sori, a fish that's at its peak in autumn, paired with a bowl of hot rice and miso soup. It's a heartwarming meal that mirrors the coziness of the season. And then comes winter with its own culinary delights. Imagine a steaming bowl of naba, a traditional hot pot dish brimming with seasonal vegetables and proteins, warming you from the inside out. Each season is celebrated, its bounty appreciated and savored right there on the lunch tray. And it's not just about eating. It's about understanding the rhythm of nature, about acknowledging the hard work of farmers, about learning the importance of eating what's in season and appreciating the very cycle of life. This seasonal cycle, reflected in Kyushoku, is a subtle reminder of the transient nature of life. A lesson that's as nourishing for the soul as the food is for the body. Through Kyushoku, children learn to appreciate the seasonal rhythms of life and the bounties each season brings. Comparing Kyushoku to school lunches in the West is like comparing sushi to a hamburger. Yes, both fill your stomach, but the approach, philosophy, and ingredients are worlds apart. When we look at the typical Western school lunch, we often see a recurring pattern, pre-packaged meals, a side of fries, and maybe a piece of fruit. The emphasis tends to lean towards convenience and mass production, with nutritional value sometimes taking a back seat. It's not uncommon to find meals high in sodium, sugars, and unhealthy fats. On the other hand, Kyushoku, or Japanese school lunches, are a different ball game altogether. These meals are carefully curated to provide a balance of proteins, carbohydrates, and vegetables. It's a three-course meal with a main, a side, and a dessert, usually a piece of seasonal fruit. Each dish is prepared fresh daily using local and seasonal ingredients. But it's not just about nutrition. Kyushoku is also a cultural immersion. Each meal tells a story about the season, the region, and the traditional dishes that originate there. 
For instance, a lunch tray in spring might feature sakura mochi, a sweet treat made with cherry blossom leaves, signaling the arrival of cherry blossom season. When it comes to variety, Kiyoshoku takes the cake, or should we say, the sushi roll, in contrast to the monotonous rotation of pizza, burgers, and chicken nuggets in many Western school canteens, Japanese school menus change daily. They introduce students to a wide array of dishes, promoting an appreciation for different flavors and cuisines. Moreover, Kiyushoku encourages communal eating. Students serve each other, eat together, and clean up together, fostering a sense of community and responsibility. In many Western schools, lunchtime is often a free for all, with students eating at different times and in different spaces. Kyushoku, with its emphasis on balanced nutrition and cultural education, offers a unique approach to school lunches that many Western countries could learn from. After all, a school lunch is more than just a meal, it's an opportunity to nurture healthy eating habits, to educate, and to cultivate a sense of community. And that's food for thought. So next time you think about school lunches, remember Kyushoku. We've journeyed through the cultural richness of Kyushoku, from seasonal delicacies to regional specialties. We've compared it with Western lunches and highlighted its educational value. We've seen its impact on community building and sustainability. Kyushoku, more than a meal, it's a window into the heart of Japan. In Japan, a school lunch isn't just a meal. It's a lesson in culture, community, and sustainability. That's the power of Kyushoku.